welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about testing for a function and piece function. First of all, let us discuss testing for a function. Now we know that a function is a special type of a relation, but all relations are not functions. Though all functions are relations. So we check whether a given relation is a function of not by the following test. First is examine That is the first set that is the domain is fully used up or not. And secondly, examine whether The first members of all the ordered pairs in the given relation are different or not. And if the domain is fully used up and the first members of all the ordered pairs are different, then the relation is a function or otherwise the relation is not a function. Now let us see some examples to clarify these tests. Now consider these three examples. Now in the first example, R1 is a relation from A to B and the first circle is representing the domain of the relation R1, now here you can see that this element of the domain is not used, that is, it is not connected with any element of the set B. So the domain is not fully used up. Therefore, the relation R1 is not a function. Now let us see the second example. In this, the first circle is representing the domain. Now here you can see that R2 is the relation from A to B and the first circle is the domain and the domain is fully used up. That is, all the elements in the domain are connected with the elements of the set B. But here 4, which is the element of set A, has two images in the second set, that is the set B. That means the first members of all the other pairs in this relation are not different. Therefore, R2 is not a function. Now let us see the third example. Here R3 is the relation from A to B. And the first circle is representing the domain. And you can see that the domain is fully used up. That is, all the elements in the domain are connected with the elements of the set B. And also, each element of the first set has only one image in the second set. That is, the first members of all the ordered pairs in this relation are different. Therefore, this relation is satisfying both of the tests for a relation to be a function. Therefore, R3 is a function.
Now let us discuss one more test that is the vertical line test. And the test is if it is possible to draw a vertical line that intersects the graph of a relation in more than one point then the relation is not a function and if it is not possible to draw such a vertical line then the relation is a function. Now let us see some examples to clarify this test. Now let us see these two examples. Let us suppose that in the first example the circle is representing the graph of a relation. Now let us draw one vertical line passing through the graph of this relation. Now we have drawn a vertical line L and we can see that this line L is intersecting the graph of this relation at two points let it be A and B. So it is possible to draw a vertical line that intersects the graph of the relation in more than one point. Therefore this relation is not a function. Similarly, we will draw a vertical line passing through the graph of this relation which is given in the example 2. So we have drawn a vertical line M passing through the graph of this relation. Now you can see that this vertical line cuts the graph of the relation at only one point, let this be point C. So the vertical line cuts the graph of the relation at only one point. Therefore, this relation is a function. Now let us see what is the theory behind this vertical line test. Now consider these points on the graph. Now here the vertical line L cuts the graph of the relation at two points A and B. So the coordinates of point A are minus 1, 2 and the coordinates of point B are minus 1, minus 2. That is, these two are the ordered pairs of the given relation as this is the graph of the given relation. Now here you can check that the first components of these two ordered pairs of the given relation are same. But this type of condition is not possible in the second case as the vertical line M cuts the graph of the relation at only one point. Now let us discuss these function. Some functions are not defined by a single formula. Rather it is defined, that is the function is defined in two or more parts or we can say that the definition of a function Q 
changes depending on the value of the independent variable then it is called a piece function now let us see an example for this here the function f is defined such that f of x is equal to minus 1 when x is less than 0 f of x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 1 when x is greater than 0. Now this is a single rule as it defines one function even though it involves three equations. Now when x is less than 0 then f of x is equal to minus 1. When x is equal to 0 then f of x is equal to 0. When x is greater than 0, then f of x is equal to 1. That means the function f assigns a number to every real number. Therefore, the domain of the function f is the set of all real numbers. And for the different values of x, we are getting the different values of f of x. And these different values of f of x is called the range of the function. Therefore, the range of the function f is the set, that is the set containing the elements minus 1, 0 and 1. Now let us see one more example. The piece function f is defined as f of x is equal to x square minus 1 when x is less than 0 and f of x is equal to 2x when x is greater than 0. Then we have to find f of minus 1 and f of 2. Now first of all we have to find f of minus 1. Now minus 1 is less than 0. Now f of x is equal to x square minus 1 when x is less than 0. Therefore, when x is less than 0, then f of x is equal to x square minus 1. Therefore, f of minus 1 will be equal to, now replacing x with minus 1 here, this will be minus 1 square minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. So f of minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have to find f of 2. Now here x is 2 which is greater than 0 and f of x is equal to 2x when x is greater than 0. So when x is greater than 0 then f of x is equal to 2x. Therefore, f of 2 will be equal to 2 into 2 which is equal to 4. That means the value of the function at minus 1 is equal to 0 and the value of the function at 2 is equal to 4. Thus we can say that a piece function is not defined by a single formula, rather it is defined in two or more parts. And we can say if the definition of a function changes depending on the value of the independent variable, then it is called a piece function. So in this session we have learnt about testing for a function and piece function. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.